I think it depends on which kind of state you are at that time where you are achieving that success. When I had one of my biggest successes in my life, I was not feeling it, for example, because at that moment I was not connected with my inner self-confidence. I was not connected with my inner self-worth. I was not connected with my self-love as a human being. So I was just doing my job, you know, like um, taking that serious, was very disciplined about, disciplined about it. Um, I just wanted to um, make the best out of it. And um, then it became that huge success. Of course, as an artist, I want a project I'm a part of to be successful, but that's not the target of it. I just wanted to do a good job. And when afterwards the big success came, as I was not connected with my self-confidence, as I was not connected to the self-worth, the self-love, I was not able to enjoy it as much as I should have at that moment maybe. And also I was not feeling it. I w it was not real for me. But on the other hand, um, I totally felt um, blessed, but you know, Tom Hanks said some in, in, in an interview of him when they had a table talk with other artists, Tom Hanks said, you know that too shall pass. If you have like a good period um, of time in your life and everything is hugely successful, this too shall pass. And if you have super, super down, a time where you are down and everything feels miserable and nothing works out, that too shall pass. And I found that so inspiring and I think this is exactly what it is, you know? There is failure, there is success, but um, I think um, the most beautiful um, thing about having success is if you are connected to yourself and you feel that self-worth and self-respect and then you can enjoy it and then you can feel it. This is a very important point because without failure, there is no success in my eyes, you know, because um, it is so important. So many people, they are afraid of having failures in their life. And I think we shouldn't be afraid of that because um, just because we are fail um, on our journey doesn't mean we will not um, end the journey in the way we want to, right? And failure is important because you learn so much which you wouldn't learn without it. Think about life goes always perfectly fine with whatever goals you have in your life. Um, you would first, I think, it's my opinion, you would maybe not appreciate what you have in the end of the day when you succeed in it. And also I think failure is so important for your, um, for your own personality, for your soul structure, for everything you, who you are as a human being, because um, you know, we need to fall and we need to stand up. We need to fall, we need to stand up. And life is um, unpredictable. We are living in a world more than ever right now when it comes to uh, political circumstances, to health, to um, the borders in the world, which shouldn't be where they are because we are all human beings. Um, we are um, moms having kids. We want to be happy. We want to um, succeed in this life in our own way, however we um, define success, right? So I think it's important um, to fail and um, there's no human being who never failed in life, right? It is a human being thing to fail and it is, um, it is important to fail and don't be scared of it. Oh, this is such an individual thing, you know, like um, your life is totally different than my life is. Maybe some women, they have like a huge family and um, some women, they don't. Some, uh, they have kids, some they don't have to um, balance that out or organize that. So it's very individual. What I, um, what I um, can say is just finding your own structure and to balance uh, things out and also um, um, you know, there is a Chinese uh, medicine um, doctor who once told me, you know, um, if you're always um, hurrying and running after things, um, you lose track and you become sad because you lose connection to yourself. And I think this is, was one of the, the first um, um, points in my life where when I heard that, that I was thinking about it. Yes, yeah, true. 
So uh, we are better in organizing ourselves and the things around us with a priority structure when we are not hurrying and when we are not running too much after, um, uh, too fast at least, you know, when we slow down a bit. And I think uh, not losing the contact to yourself helps you a lot with balancing things out in life for sure.